Welcome to the Oasis. My name's Mike, and today I'm going to be showing you how to officially play Oculus Go games on your Oculus Quest. Now, in the latest Quest update, amongst many other cool features, which I'll cover briefly in this video, the Quest is now backwards compatible with around 66 Oculus Go titles. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to make sure your Oculus Quest is up to date, as I was really struggling to get this update myself, how to install and play Oculus Go apps on the Quest, the best Go games which are available right now that you can play on Quest, what Go games I want to see on Quest in the future, and finally, how to upgrade previously purchased Go apps to the new Quest versions. I'll put timestamps to all the different sections of the video in the description down below. I hope you guys and girls find the information in this video useful, and without further ado, let's dive in. Okay, so before we can play Oculus Go games on the Quest, we need to ensure that the Quest has the very latest update, which is 9.0 at the time of this video. I was having trouble myself getting my quest to update as it can be a bit random if and when you get the update. So here's some tips I found which help me get the update pushed through. Firstly, you'll want to have your quest on charge and connected to your Wi-Fi hotspot. Press the power button on the side of the headset once which will put the headset into sleep mode. Don't push and hold the button as that'll turn it off completely. Leave the headset for about an hour or so and hopefully when you return the quest will be updated to the latest version. If no update has been pushed through, restart the headset and try again. I've heard some people having to leave their headsets on sleep mode overnight, which eventually did the trick, so bear that in mind. You'll be able to quickly tell if the update's been applied and it's running version 9.0, as the controller battery status on the menu now has three dots instead of a number percentage. Personally, I'm not sure if I prefer these three dots though, but it is what it is. Thankfully, one of the new features of update 9.0 is there's now a way to manually request the update through the headset from the menu, which should take the randomness out of this process in the future. Some other neat features of this update include an improved pass-through mode called Pass-Through Plus. This updated version of Pass-Through improves the representation of the real world around you by enhancing estimations of the depth, size, and distance of objects in your real world environment. You can now also remotely wipe your headset in the event it gets stolen, which is a nice little feature. If you're using SideQuest and you find that all your sideloaded apps have disappeared, no need to worry. You simply just need to re-enable developer mode using the Oculus Go app on your mobile device and everything should be back to normal again. So now we're fully updated, I can show you how to play Oculus Go games on your Quest. If you now navigate to your Oculus Quest game library, you'll see a drop down menu in the top left corner where you can select Oculus Go games. If you've previously purchased Oculus Go titles already, you'll find them in the not installed section where you can install the games you want to play. If you've never previously purchased any Go titles, sadly, you can't buy them from within the headset. You need to buy them either through the official Oculus website or through the Oculus mobile app and then they'll be added to the not installed section. So now you know how to install some Oculus Go games, but are any of them any good and worth installing? Well, out of the 66 Go titles available, here are my personal top three. First up is They Suspect Nothing from Coatsync, the developers behind the recent VR puzzler Shadow Point. They Suspect Nothing is a collection of quirky mini games about robots and deception. As the last human on Earth, you must infiltrate a robot-only society by completing a series of bizarre human detection tests. This is a fun little title, lots of mini games to play, and one the whole family can enjoy. Next is Land's End from Us 2, the team that made the iconic Monument Valley games on mobile devices. This is a really chilled puzzle adventure game where you can explore spectacular landscapes to awaken a lost civilization. The unique thing about this game is that no controllers are required to play this game. You just simply sit down and relax and use your gaze to navigate the environments and solve puzzles. 
And last but by no means least is Daedalus from Vertical Robot, the same developers who bought you the best looking game on Quest, Red Matter. So Daedalus is a unique platformer where you can jump, bounce and glide your way around environments to solve puzzles. It's another seated game which is super chill to play through that looks intense but with some clever tricks is surprisingly comfortable to play. So that's my personal top three games available from the Go library on Quest right now, but there's plenty more gems on the Go platform that I would love to see come over to the Quest. Here's a few of my favorites that I'd like to see on Quest in the future. Oh, pirates back. No one will take me. Captain Mike Sparrow. <laughs> Nate these calves. Okay, cool. <laughs> I love them. The horn is hilarious. Okay. Hopefully these games will be added to the quest over time. Let me know what you think of these games in the comments below and would you be interested in them coming to the quest? I'd love to know. So before we wrap up this video, the final bit of information is about how to upgrade apps you've previously bought for the Oculus Go and upgrade them to the newer Oculus Quest versions for free. So for example, if you bought and played Thumper on the Oculus Go, the game should now appear on the Quest Store for you for free. Just make sure you're using the same account and that you add these updated Quest games to your account now before the offer of the free upgrade expires on the 31st of December 2019. Here's a list of games that you can upgrade to the Quest version for free if you previously bought it on Oculus Go. Okay, so that's how to get set up playing Oculus Go games on your Oculus Quest. I'm so glad now that after this update, you can manually select when to update the Quest software, as it was really a case of potluck getting my headset to update. Hence why this video is a little bit late. But it's great to see that the Quest is getting these regular and awesome updates, and there's some more big updates coming soon on the horizon, including Oculus Link, and the Oculus Quest hand tracking. Now you can check out my hands on impressions of both of these features in a video I did at Oculus Connect, which I'll link up here now. I hope this video helped some of you out and maybe informed you about the ability to play Go games on your Oculus Quest. Maybe you didn't even know that this feature existed as it's not exactly clear when you update. But let me know in the comments down below which Go games you'd love to see come to the Oculus Quest and also let me know if this is the first time you're playing these games as maybe you didn't have an Oculus Go previously and the Quest is your first standalone VR headset. I'd love to know in the comments down below. Leave a like if you liked the video and you found it useful. Make sure you're subscribed for all my future content and as always, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.